Okay, so now let's do some ionic radius examples. And so this is a little bit of a tough one, but what we're going to do is rank these cations and anions in order of increasing radius. Okay? So now the strategy to this is to, one, kind of group up the anions and the cations. You want to look at the number of protons versus the number of electrons and figure out where everybody is on the periodic table and put all that together to rank finally the in order of radius. So we're going to start with the smallest to the largest. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pick out the cations because I know in general that cations are smaller than anions. Okay? And so so if I have a like let's say I have a potassium atom a potassium cation is going to be smaller than the potassium atom, but the potassium anion is going to be larger than the potassium atom. Okay? Same goes for sulfur. The anion will be larger than the atom. At selenium, all of those follow that rule, and so the magnesium cation will be smaller than magnesium. Okay? So let's go ahead and just look at the two cations first. So here's magnesium and here's potassium. Okay, and I see that magnesium has 12 protons and only 10 electrons. Okay, and I also see that it has a higher charge, and I also notice that it's in the in a you know a, a higher group. Okay, so it's in a in the previous period. So it's in n equals three versus n equals four. Okay, and so. And I also noticed that both of them have the noble gas configuration, okay? So because magnesium has lost two electrons, it has the same electron configuration as neon, and potassium has lost one electron, so it has the same configuration as argon. So I think it's pretty safe to put down, at least for now, just make sure, let's go ahead and put down magnesium 2 plus as our smallest, now remember, we can always change our mind, and then uh, I'm going to put potassium plus next, okay? Because those are cations, and I'm thinking that they're going to be smaller than those anions, all right? But if we decide otherwise through the course of this problem, we can always change our answer. So, all right, so now let's focus on the anions, all right? So now we have sulfur 2 minus. Okay, so that's the same configuration as argon. We have selenium 2 minus, that's the same configuration as krypton, okay, and chloride right here. Okay, all right, so now what we notice here is that sulfur and chloride are isoelectronic to each other, okay, so the sulfide anion, so he has 16 protons and 18 electrons and the chloride anion has 17 protons and 18 electrons okay so which of those two guys is going to be bigger alright so if you said the sulfide anion because it has only 16 protons and two extra electrons you'd be correct okay so this guy's a little bit larger than the chloride anion. All right. Now let's also look at selenium. Okay, so now this guy has two extra electrons plus he's in n equals four. Okay, so this is almost certainly going to be our largest. Okay, so the most negative charge, the most extra electrons, isoelectronic with krypton, but only has 34 protons. So this is probably our largest ion. Okay. And so do we have any reason to believe that um, sulfide or chloride are going to be smaller than magnesium? No. And let's also look at potassium plus. That potassium cation has the same configuration as argon, but so do sulfide and chloride. And those have extra electrons versus uh, potassium being a cation. So let's go ahead and write in next smallest chloride anion because it has 17 pro 
protons to only manage 18 electrons. So that's chloride right there, and sulfide would be next. Okay? So that's basically the way that you go about this. So just keep in mind, you're always allowed to change your answer, but you have to start paring down your list so you can compare sets of ions to each other. Okay? Don't forget to look for isoelectronic series. Uh, remember that in general your cations are going to be smaller than your anions, but it's going to depend on the exact placement on the periodic table also. Okay? So go through the process looking number of an, uh, electrons versus number of protons, where they are on the periodic table, are they cations, are they anion, anions, so take all of that information into account while you're ranking these anions. So again, so since magnesium 2 plus has the highest charge, most electrons gone, isoelectronic with neon, it's clearly the smallest, and selenium 2 minus, that's the largest. Sometimes if you can get those two knocked out, it's easier to see what's left.